Today we'd like to share some setup tips for you to get the most out of your camera when using the Edge water housing. Today we'll be talking about the A7 IV, but also the A7R5 shares the same menu. So all of these tips will apply to both cameras. The first step is ensuring that you have manual control over both the shutter speed and aperture via the rear top dial and the rear lower wheel. The first step is to press menu, head down to the setup menu, which is the yellow menu, option three, and then head down to the first option, which is the custom key dial set. Once you're in there, head down to option five, which is called dial wheel, head across into that menu and head to option two. Press the center button and select shutter speed Press the center button again. While you're here, go down to option four, press the center button. Select aperture, highlight that. The next step is controlling your ISO. Press the menu button, head to the yellow menu and find operation customize. Within there, highlight the FN menu settings tab and press OK. Highlight the first cell and press the center button. And from here, choose the exposure menu and option one, head across to highlight ISO and confirm by pressing the center button. Now press the FN button, highlight the ISO and change the value via the rear dial whilst shooting. We also suggest this next step to eliminate possibly changing your ISO by mistake when adjusting the aperture via the rear lower wheel. Firstly, press the menu button, navigate down to the setup menu or the yellow menu. Look for operation customize and enter that. Head into the custom key dial set menu. And from here, head to the second option and press the center button. Head down to option four and press the center button. And from here, head across on the left-hand side, down to the yellow menu, option one, then across again, and set that to not set by confirming with the setup. As the back plate of the water housing will interfere with the rear eye sensor on the camera, we suggest customizing the C3 button to manually select whether you are viewing through the EVF or the rear LCD. This also applies to shooting menus or playback options. Press the menu button and navigate down to the setup menu. Head down to operation customize and across to the first selection of custom key dial set. Head into rear one, option four, and press the center button to confirm. Press the left hand on the D-pad to enter out and down to the custom button three menu. Within here, head down to option four, then across to highlight, find a monitor, select. Confirm by pressing the center button. The best way to shoot both videos and photos on these cameras when using the water housing is to customize the C1 button by allocating that to start video recording. Press the menu button, head down to the setup menu and option three. From here, we wanna go into the first custom key dial set. We wanna head into the rear one menu and option three. From here, we wanna go back out and across to the left and down to the setup menu, option one. And then we head across again. And now we wanna select movie shooting and press okay. By pressing the C1 button, your camera will now swap to video mode and start recording. If you are primarily gonna be using these cameras to shoot video, you may also want to allocate to the shutter button, the start stop record function. 
To do this, simply press menu, head down to the setup menu, operation customize, and scroll down to highlight record with shutter and press the center button. Highlight on, and then the center button again to confirm. By customizing your power options on your camera, it's gonna allow you to shoot for longer when using the camera inside the water housing. Simply press menu, head down to the setup menu, all the way down to option eight, which is power setting options. Head across into that menu and down to option two, pressing the center button. And we select setting a short period of time, for example, one minute, and then confirm by pressing the center button. We hope these setup tips will allow you to get the most out of your camera while shooting in the Edge water housing. If you have any questions regarding this product or any of the Aquatech products, please reach out to the trained staff via the website for the best support.